I'm Jeff Cornwall and this is The Entrepreneurial Mind. Today our guest is Hal Cato and we're going to talk to him about his product Zumo after this word from our sponsor. If you want to feel the wind blowing through your hair and see the great city of Nashville at the same time, check out Nashville Scooter Tours. Trekking through the downtown streets to Music Row with Nashville Scooter Tours is safe, eco-friendly, and a whole lot of fun. They use Xenon electric scooters that go 55 miles on a single charge. Find out more by calling 615-290-5563 or book your reservation today at NashvilleScooterTours.com. Welcome back to The Entrepreneurial Mind. Hal, welcome. Thank you. Glad you're here today. Thanks. Um, so your product is, is basically a, a safe online environment for high school kids. Is that mm -hmm. a good way to describe it? It is, yeah. I've spent the last 10 years working with schools and, and with young people in various forms and one of the things that I noticed, uh, a lot has changed about education, but one of the things that hadn't changed is how um, schools communicate with students. Right. And still walking into buildings and hearing them make announcements over PA systems and right. tape up posters and even sending out emails and, that students uh, no longer check because right. they've moved on. Right. Uh, so I, it's I've even heard of notes still coming home in backpacks once in a while. Maybe, yeah. 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 So you're trying to change all that. You're trying to yeah. create a a communication platform that's for the kids, it's for the schools, it's for the parents, is that correct? Well, it's a student engagement platform that's designed to help schools and community groups, prospective employers, prospective colleges, anybody trying to connect and communicate with a student. It allows them to, to do that in a close social environment. Um, our big thing is trying to help weed out signal from noise. There's right. a lot of noise right. in everyone's life, yep. but especially in a teenager's life when they really don't know how to find that, that pure signal, and that's what Zumo does. So you try to make sure that the content they're getting is hopefully something that's going to be beneficial to them and their mm -hmm. development. And mm -hmm. um, uh, Talk about how you get engagement from the, from the kids, because uh, um, I know I've heard that, that uh, a lot of kids are even shying away from Facebook now because it's become the place that mom hangs out. Yeah. So how do you make this something that is compelling and, and uh, that they engage in? Because without them connecting, it, it's not going to work. Correct, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, first of all, kids are early adopters. Right. So they will try, try anything. But that being said, I knew that unless we built something that was really when they logged on for the first time, they felt like this was created for me and not for a teacher or for a principal. It had to feel student-centric. So... Before we even had a company name, I was working with students and sitting down with them and we were wireframing together. They were telling us what they liked about certain networks, what they didn't like, what they, what were their favorite apps on their phone, what did they like about those, to make sure that we put the student at the center of the equation and we designed something that would be appealing and it looks like the, the networks that they use when they're not in school. Because as smart as you and your team might be, you're not high school kids. No, 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 no. I'm the same age as their parents, right. and I recognize that. So right. um, I surrounded myself with students. We met every month for a year, and they were my founding advisory board. Um, now a lot of them have moved on to college, but they still check in, want to know how Zumo's going, how our stats, what's it looking like. They feel a lot of ownership in it. So tell me, kind of walk me through the engagement. So you, you, you get adopted by a school. Mm -hmm. So right now we've happens? got... We've got, we're rolling out across Metro and National Public Schools right now in 15 okay. schools. Um, first thing I'm doing is making sure that the faculty and the coaches and every, all the adults in the building understand what it is and how to use it. So if I was a coach. Mm -hmm. If you're a coach and you say, you know, you, your football team has a list in there. If you need to connect with your football team, you just go to your um, Zumo account, click football team type up an instant message and it goes directly onto their, their dashboard. Um, kids are able to turn on and off activity streams based upon what they're passionate about. And so it's allowing them to tell us what's important to them. How do you get the kids to, to check this regularly and, and know when there's a message that's relevant for them? Um, if they think there's any message for them, they're gonna check it regularly. I mean, they feel, they know that this is their dashboard. They know that they're 
teachers are communicating with them through that if they need to know what's due tomorrow, um, check Zumo. And do the parents also have access? So they We're can... building a parent portal right now. I hope that we'll have that up and running by November 1. We initially started with the student because that was who was getting left out of the equation. Right. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I mean, so they, they were really the, weren't part of the communication chain in the school. Not really. I mean, schools would do this, you know, PA system blast, sort right. of a one size fits all, push it out there. And if you were absent that morning and didn't hear the announcement, sorry. Wow. So, um, so you're rolling this out in Nashville. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the revenue model. Is this something that, a, that the school will adopt and pay for mm -hmm. the, the it's licensing a, There are this, several or? revenue streams. There's Initial is a subscription model. Okay. Software as a service. Schools are paying a subscription fee to use Zumo, and it's based upon the number of students in their building. Okay. Um, additional revenue models looking at. Um, well, has that have been a pretty easy sell with the schools? Have they, yes have, and have no. They I mean, it? you know, there's nothing easy about working with schools. I mean, you know, especially right now where right. they're under so much pressure, whether it's Common Core or TCAPs or you name it, they're, they're, they're under a lot of pressure. So how do you get the sale? What, what, what part of your value proposition is attractive to the schools, do you think? I think that they know that what's out there isn't working. No one has created a platform that allows them to connect with an entire school. There's a lot of one-offs out there that a science teacher can use to connect with her, her science class, sure. but nothing that brings in everything that we're doing. I mean, we're basically a digital student resource center because a kid also can find employers hiring in the area, they can look at colleges, they can get information about scholarships. It's a lot more than just here's your algebra homework for tomorrow. And, and how, do you, how do you protect that flow? Because uh, I, I, my, my kids are old and grown up now, but I remember the mailboxes getting mm -hmm. full of, of stuff from colleges and, and, uh, and they just sort of stop paying attention at some point. Because we give, the, the kid is the center here. They're the ones telling us who they want to hear from and who they don't want to hear from. So I want and to hear from colleges in Tennessee mm -hmm. or small you can, schools mm -hmm. and they can actually profile mm -hmm. and, and set it up the way they want it. Yeah. Fascinating. So what happened to your kids is what happened to me where somebody sold my ACT score and then right. I heard from every college on the planet. Right. Whether I wanted to or not. And right. we don't do that. Right. Uh, so one revenue stream is subscription. Subscriptions, the other was, uh, is colleges, opportunity for colleges to connect with directly with students that fit a um, certain profile. Okay, so they uh, pay for access. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I would imagine they would love this because they're having a hard time getting past the noise right now as well. They are. I mean, they, they either email or snail mail, snail mail right. are the two ways that colleges connect with students and neither are relevant. Right, neither anymore. work. Nobody pays attention to those anymore. Mm -mm. Um, so, so talk about the rollout strategy. You're rolling this out in in, in Metro right so now. So we're rolling out in Metro this is, right this now. Is kind of yeah. still beta stage. Would uh, you call we, it? we we were out of beta. We okay. we we did beta earlier this year. Took our knocks, learned what we need to, rebuilt the platform, improved it over the summer, and we're rolling out now. People love it. Um, and looking at opportunities in Kentucky and Hamilton County, and interestingly enough, also getting some interest from the private sector, from a large employer that's looking at how they can use it to communicate with um, a mobile workforce that's spread out across the country. Okay, and, and uh, what's, the, uh, what's the sales process? It sounds like early on it's pretty sales intensive in terms of, of probably you spending a lot of time mm -hmm. communicating what it this is. It is, it's is me leveraging 10 years of national relationships and networks right. getting out there. Finding those school districts that I know are early adopters that are, not afraid of technology, that have large, very diverse um, enrollments that are having a hard time connecting with. But at some point, the sales process will need to scale as well, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. And it, the, the only way that we're really going to be able to scale that sales process in, for the next year or two is going to be in partnership with a national um, learning management platform, which we're in negotiations with two of them right now that are like what we're doing. So it's looking pretty good. Do you anticipate uh, an exit through one of those, or Who knows? Um, yeah. we'll see where it takes us? We'll you. see where it takes us. I'm, I'm not in a any hurry to exit. I'm having a, partnership to I'm having a good time with this right now. Very cool. Well, that's great. And, and if somebody wants to uh, get this into their school, is this something that there's grassroots uh, uh, movement to, to uh, yeah, get this out yeah, there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they just so go, they to, need to go to, go to, to Zumo.com, yeah, Zumo and everything is right there.
Appreciate it, Hal. Enjoyed Thank you. talking with you today. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it.